I am down with Willis and he's in the class 7500 Lexian and he is combining on their very last day of Canary Seed and inside the cab there's Wilf, we'll get in cab in a bit and you can see Wilf is an awesome dog 10 years old now and I'm not the best light angle this one but I'm staying out of the uh, dust and chaff because this stuff is hugely uh, itchy and these are working local to me just next door so it would be rude not to pop round and say a cheeky hello so I'm in cab with Willis now and down there is a very key Wilf. <laughs> Wilf is looking for any rabbits that might run out of the crop. Any furry friend that he can uh, say hello to. As I mentioned earlier on the video, we are combining canary seed and the majority of this will be sent out to Europe. It's a very low yielding crop but a high value one. And I know it's not a very clean sample with that, but what happens with the, the type of seed is it's hard to, to get that through the combine totally clean. So what happens is they go back to the yard and they've got a special uh, cleaning system that all the canary seed will go through there before it is sent out in bulk. So right next door where Willis has just finished, we've got Pat bailing, Neil chasing and Marlon Carty. Here's Pat with Straight Line Services and he's Fent 930 Vario. He's got the Massey Baylor on the back, the 2290. And with him is Neil in the Heath Chaser. Canary seed would normally be harvested when they normally drop off it by day, so once they got into the maze. Let's have a look. Neil is full with the chaser. He's going to go and tip that at a stack. And Neil's in the fence 724 Vario. And the super chaser on the back, which you will have seen if you follow the page on other videos. It looks a very dense bale probably quite heavy as well been asked a few times what does the actual header look like because you normally see it in a crop and Willis is about to put the header on the trailer so on the top you've got the reel the red reel that feeds in the crop right at the bottom are the knives now the knives I've described them like hedge cutters that's pretty much as they work back and forth down there at the bottom you've got an auger there and that's like a corkscrew and that feeds the crop to the centre where it goes into the combine, where it goes to the various drums uh, for the threshing and the cleaning and processing inside. You've got the rasp bars in here and that's where, that's where it gets fed into. So that's the part that actually takes those, those rasp bar spins around and take the actual crop into the combine so it can be processed. So thank you for watching, as always much appreciated and I will see you on another video.